Hello and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3, welcome back to Faerun, and welcome back to the hotel room which we have just rented out. Yeah, we've got a hotel room now, no camping in a field for us. Also, also, I was going through my inventory and I was just like, wait, the necromancy of Thay. We haven't read that in a while. You've seen much of the book, but its most powerful secrets are guarded by indecipherable glyphs without a key. They may be locked away forever. Right, we need a key for the book. Okay, interesting. Also, Halson's gone. Anyway, we should probably rest. Uh, let's... Can we rest? Long rest, there we go. Camp supply cost. 21,000... Wait. I think we've got 2,140. And we need 40. Okay, we can do that. Uh, you have enough camp supplies to restore all hit points and spell slots if you long rest. Let's do it. No tomb sit in Beator. No tomb sit in Beator. Holy hells. Okay. Uh, just what are you up to? I come to bargain. The hells demand witness. Your parasite links with wills, and your memories flow into him. He sees his father's flight from Worm's Rock, and hears Mizora's words to you. Shit. Where did Gortash send my father? How do I save him? Sisters. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Your contract, Will. Signed in blood, forged in fire, bound in bone, but not unbreakable. Then break it already. Will doesn't need to wait six months. What are you proposing? Remain silent. Yet no contract is ended without sacrifice, Will. The cost must be paid. Will Ravenguard, a choice is before you. Option one, I show you the way to your father. I guarantee him no harm except that from you and your allies. And you pledge your soul to me and the Archdevil Zariel in a pact eternal. Option two, I break your pact and you are freed from your duty. Your father dies by his enemy's hand, and Baldur's Gate loses its greatest champion. Name your sacrifice. Bloody Zariel! I won't let her take Will! Silence, Karlak! Mizora! You asshole! Choose! Choose the form of your destructor? What will happen to Will's powers if he breaks the pact? Save your father, Will. The city need the city will need him to help rebuild. Do the right thing. Give your soul so your father can live. Break the pact. Will you deserve your freedom? Let your father die. When the city is free, you can take his place. What will happen to Will's powers if he breaks the pact? Doesn't matter. Uh, save your father. Do the right thing. Break the pact, Will. You deserve your freedom. You damned wretch. Father, do it. Break the pact. Fine. 
Fiat Ita. Fiat Ita. Anima ad beator. Didn't think you had it in you. <laughs> Seems my boy's all grown up. <laughs> and don't go fussing about your father. You made your choice. You knew the terms. You know what? I think I'll stick around. Not for the greater good, you understand. Just for the entertainment. <laughs> uh, okay. Loophole break Will's Pact with Mizora. What? I was like, wait, wait a minute, what's happened to Shadowheart? Oh yeah, I forgot we gave her a clothes back. And not in the sort of weird, we gave her a clothes back way, but also in the weird, we gave her a clothes back because we were wearing a cap. It doesn't matter, we're, we're going to talk to Will. God, I spent seven years choked by Mazura's leash. And I spent seven years hoping to break free. I never knew freedom could taste so bittersweet. It's a little late for a moss, don't you think? You are your own man now, Well, It's better this way. And fantastic power play. With your father gone, you can rise up and take his place. I thought you never regretted taking the pact. Hmm. You're your own man now, Well, It's better this way. I have to believe that. I'm not the Hell's puppet in life, nor its warrior in death. The blade will be guiding his own hand. But freedom will be paid in my father's blood. Tomorrow, I celebrate my gain. Today, I mourn my loss. A moment passes. In the stillness, you find a moat of tranquility. The Raven Guard name now lives solely with me. I will make it count for something. Your father's not dead yet. Well, maybe there's a way to save him. I signed his life away before the Hell's Witnesses. It would be easier to drink the sticks down to the last drop than to alter his fate. I'd be a fool to wish otherwise. Hmm, what's our next step then? We obtain the final two nether stones and take back our minds. And the city. From the brain. Okay, we need to go to the brain, to the brain, um, interesting. Will sacrificed his own father. I hope freedom from the pact is worth it to him. I mean, the thing is that the child tends to outlive the parents anyway. This is just bumping it up a few months, years maybe. I wanted to talk about our relationship. I think the special tab poll the Emperor offered. Oh, okay. Uh, what about a relationship? Of course. May I have a kiss? How are you? How are you faring? Admit it, you've never had a relationship. I want to end things between us. Oh, gee, no. How are you? Honestly, my heart's racing. The end's close. My parents are close. I just know it. Thank you. I'm not sure I would have ever made it this far without you. Okay. Interesting. Um, hmm. I don't think asking for a smooch now without her parents being around. Missouri's now in our camp. Hey. Little Will's all grown up. I can't wait to see what trouble he gets into. You force Will to make an impossible choice. Will's not a child. You need to start treating him with respect. I can't believe Will actually sacrificed his father to save himself. That's it then. Duke Raven Guard is dead. You force Will to make an impossible choice. Impossible? My bargain was uncommonly reasonable. A single soul for the return of Baldur's Gate's most beloved duke. A real bargain, I should think. 
I never thought the legendary Blade of Frontiers would surrender his father for freedom. Not very valorous, if you ask me. But what does a mean old devil like me know about heroes? I don't get it. If Will isn't your warlock, why stick around and give him power? The Absolutists worked a number on me at Moonrise. And you're the best hope I've got at payback. No one crosses the Hell's children without getting scorched. You've left Karlak alone. Didn't you want her dead? What changed? Oh, you are an inquisitive one. I'd have thought you'd figured by now. Zariel found a new use for an old battle axe. The dead three in that bulging brain of theirs are a threat to more than this trifling city, you know. Savor her company. Who's to say when Zariel might change her mind? My mistress can be so capricious. What can you tell me about the Hells? The Nine Hells of Beator. Each its own domain, each with its own archdevil to rule it. I call the first Hell my home, Avernus. My mistress Zariel's realm, a torrid battleground split by the bloody waters of the Styx. How I adore it. The delicious agony of it all. The other eight, well, they are pleasures unto themselves. Perhaps I'll show you myself, if I deem you worthy. You never told me how the Absolutists captured you. Correct. I didn't. If you must know, I was scouting the cultists on behalf of Zariel, but those cursed shadows were thick enough to fell even a half-fiend. I woke in that damned pod. It kept my body sealed and my most powerful magic silenced. But a brave, kind, benevolent soul set me free. Gallantry isn't dead after all. I want you to get out of here now. If you're going to be staying, I need something in return. Why? I'm supplying Will with every scrap of his infernal power. I've paid my dues many times over. I tell you what, when the time comes to squish that big baddie of a brain, I'll lend you a hand. Ooh. We're going to need allies. And it does seem we now have Mazora as an ally. Maybe for the final battle? Okay. Uh, we've... Have we done a sleep yet? We're all in the camp clothes, which means probably not. Long rest. There we go. Yes. Uh, no, wait. Who wants to speak to us? Who? 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 An owl? Wait. What? Is someone missing from over here? Nope, everyone's over there. Map. Bat! Oh, Gale. Uh, I don't want to talk to Gale. It's a pain in my butt. You want to eat another... <laughs> you want to... You want to... You want to... Wait, you want to... What? You want to eat my shoes? We must claim the crown of Carsus for ourselves. Before anyone else does. Thank you, you stopped us from going to sleep for that. Great, cool. I'm gonna go to bed now. Let's do a little sleep. Uh, order select and full rest. They say that home is where a person can be their truest selves without guile. Without pretense. You did well to see off the Githyanki who had invaded mine. And now that you have seen where I come from, you know all there is to know about me. At least, all that matters. A 
flavors of my favorite fiddlehead soup, should you wish to experience it for yourself. The very first reward I gifted myself on completion of my first adventure. The garments with which I concealed and later constructed my appearance as the Emperor. We spoke of my relationship with Duke Berlin Stillman, a story I have told no one else. I have no more secrets from you. No need to resort to subterfuge. We are true allies now, working towards a common goal. Oh, this guy. Alright, you really don't sound like a mind flyer. You've loved you've led an exciting life. Why did you conceal it from me? Why did you resort to subterfuge at all? You did some pretty bad things, I'm not sure how I feel about being your ally. You did a great impersonation of a human, but you're not fooling me. Uh you really don't sound like a mind flyer. I have learned to adapt my methods to your needs. The only way we were ever going to get close enough to the brain to destroy it was by working together, but few would trust a mind flare. So I did what I had to, to convince you. I studied you, your motivations, your actions, your desires. I deduced the best way to align your goals with my own. You make it sound like I was some sort of experiment. You could have been open with me from the start. Hmm. And what did you learn? That you are complex and full of contradictions. It was no easy task, but I had to persist. I needed your absolute dedication to the cause. I anticipated the challenge, and I anticipated your resistance. What I didn't anticipate was how much I would enjoy your company. Sometimes, I felt almost like we were dancing our way towards something deeper. Uh, okay, true. You're trying to flirt with me now? I think you misread the signs. I'm fine with what we have now. Absolutely not, you freak. Yeah, yeah I guess you can romance the Emperor. I think you misread the signs. I'm fine with what we have now. I'm sorry. You're right. Now's not the time. Forget I said anything. Let's move on to more important things. The Elder Brain's hive mind has grown to monstrous proportions. And through the Crown's magic, it has complete control over each and every member. It was intelligent before, but now... With its hide mind established across the city, it is well on its way to becoming indestructible. You should reconsider your attachment to your physical form. You have seen what an elithid can do. Imagine, some of that could be in your grasp. Not enough to warp your appearance beyond recognition, but just enough to enhance your potential. And believe me, it will radically increase our chances of success against the Elder Brain. Think on it. Do the beds not have pillows, or just... No, there is, uh, that sort of round thing, I guess. I was like, wait, what? Why are we just laying down like a f Ooh, stop staring at the camera, cat bug. <laughs> You're on TV. Uh, uh, what's going on? Oh, Gail again. What, what do you want? We must claim the crown of Carsus for ourselves before anyone else does. 
Are you serious? Is that is he stuck now? Is is that what he's doing? He's like, oh dog, 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 dog. dog. Dog wags his tail, a small bag clenched between his teeth. Hmm. Give that here. Let him keep it. Give that here. He gives in and surrenders his find to you. Pass him. Scratch's tongue lolls out happily, his tail wagging even faster. Oh! Okay, we got an iron bolt. I was like, why are we talking to him? Yeah, we haven't turned on to speak with animals, so he's I'm just dark. Hey, Scratch. Hope you're keeping well, friend. Yeah, pet the dog. There was a study done on dogs because they wanted to know whether dogs just uh, hang out with humans because they want to, because uh, they give them food. You smell very delicious, but I will not bite you. Yeah, they wanted to know if dogs just hang out with people because they give them food and they're loyal because, you know, you're just a, a source of food or whether there's like a, an emotional attachment. And so they did an MRI scan and they they drop, um, I think, body odor, sweat, I think, uh, from different people. And while the dog was in the MRI, they put it in front of the dog's nose. And when it came to the owner's scent, parts of the brain lit up that light up when you are anticipating being with someone you love like just meeting up with them so it turns out yeah dogs form an emotional bond with their owners um pet the cub <sighs> cats on the other hand You'd never get them to be in an MRI machine for any period of time because uh, that's just no way. Uh, hey, Yenna. I brought my own paring knife. Now I just need some ingredients and I'm going to make something really good. I promise. Can we give her ingredients? Is that is that something we can, like, give her? There's a roast beef joint there. I guess not. Uh... Okay, we can leave here. And apparently we are the wrong side of the door. Right, everyone's rested. Everyone's rested? Yep, we're all rested up. We've got our stuff. Neat. There are things that we need to do. We spoke to Orin last time and Orin's like, Oh, I've just stopped your man. And we're like, we don't care. Like, it's just house in. Whatever. Whatever. Can we talk to the Enforcer Schooner? Welcome back. Don't break anything. I feel there was something that we could have said to her originally that would have been better. It's a mailbox. Rat trouble? The Duke's stalemate? Municipal sanitation notice. What? Can we just read it? But you still mean, my lady, events in the gate underworld are moving fast, and I am sorry to say that the shield organization is unraveling. That young lout Gortash has cut our legs out from under us. Nine fingers is no help, and the Zents just think it's funny. As for me, my lady, I think I've climbed to the top of Gortash's hit list. I can't help or protect you any further. My advice is to write the knights off, hunker down on your upper city mansion and hire whatever muscle you can to guard it. Farewell. It's been an honor, Sir Grousel. It's cool that we can just go through the mailbox and just read people's letters. Uh, read. 
The Department of Drains and Underways is aware of the issue of the penetrating stench emanating from the round street hatches that provide access to the city sewers. The tribe of gutter kobolds contracted to maintain free flow in the sanitation tunnels appears to have been slain or driven away by forces or circumstances unknown, and the resulting backup is responsible for the unpleasant odour. The department is taking appropriate measures to remedy the situation, but in the meantime, do not attempt to address the situation yourselves. Citizens are prohibited from using the Round Street sewer hatches. Leave sanitation to the professionals. Don't go swimming in poo. Uh, Got rat troubles. Not for long. Hire stomping boars, the rat catcher, and your troubles are over. Small rats, big rats, giant rats, rubber rats, rats of any kind. Forest stamps all over them. Reasonable rates. Corpses and rat pelts removed at no extra charge. References upon request. That was pellets, but I know. I know. All right. Uh, there was talk of boo, and so we got murder targets. Find the Night Song, The Wizard of Waterdeep, Speak to the Bookseller, Murder Target, Investigate Suspicious Toys, Basilisk Gate, what else have we got? Murder Target, Murder Target, Destroy the Steel Watch Foundry, Just find the Steel Watch Foundry, alright. How big is this place? It appears to be quite big, alright. Um, map, Jur. Do we have a shadow? Card. Find the night song. Night song decided to camp with us, and we should see what the wizard in Baldur's Gate wants with her. Oh, okay. Find Mole. We defeated Catherick and watched a fleet of Nautiloids leave for Baldur's Gate. If Mole doesn't turn up in Mirror's Tower. She may have escaped, and one of them made it to the city. Data of Darkness. Okay. Don't we have a wait? We have to find sh uh, have to find Shadow Heart's parents. Fiery Fiend, uh, Fiery Friend. Kalik's heart was upgraded again, but Damon has bore bad news. Her heart keeps going outside the hells. Kalik will die if she doesn't return to Avernus. Okay. And that's completed quests. Uh, Githyanki Warrior, Wizard of Waterdeep, the Pale Elf, the High Harper. Jahira's harper rendezvous turned out to be ambushed by Doppelganger. She revealed that she was hoping for information from an old friend who was taken by the cult, Minsk of Rashomon. She would search out a new way to find him once we reach the lower city. That's good, because maybe Minsk has boo. Uh, Kithrak Voss suggests we find a way to infiltrate Raphael's house of hope and take the Orphic hammer. He'll be waiting for us in the sewers. We should inform him when the deed is done. Uh, investigate Kazdor's place. Uh, we meet a tribe of Gur people. Their leader, Ulmer, turn, uh, told us about a vampire called Kazdor. Okay, unlock the ancient tome. We made it to the final page of the tome, but it's indecipherable. We need to find a way to read it. We managed to read most of the book absorbing some of its necromatic power but it snapped shut before we could finish it there must be a way to reach the end or oh, destroy the tome and ah, we ain't doing that uh or is another zone right don't we have to find wait we found a shower and lookout uh he revealed the cloister is hidden in a place called the house of grief in the lower city of Baldur's gate i really want to do that I really want to get her story sorted. We have murder targets! Oh, what do we got going on here? How have we got going on here? Ba -ba -da, craft of wine, wine, double doors. What is this place? Oh, another mailbox. Right. Let's do a quick save because I don't really know what to expect here. Alright, I'm just going to search for... Uh, search by type. There we go. Now, what do we got? Potions, potions everywhere except for in our pants. Wyvern Toxin. Oh gosh, why have I got so many potions? It's Karlak.
At least things have stayed interesting. Cool. I just needed to check, make sure Karlak had. I made some potions earlier, and I couldn't remember where they were. So if you go to potions, extract all ingredients, and I was like, wait a minute, I definitely made some elixirs. Elixir of sea invisibility. We might need that. Why? Don't ask stupid questions. Why, hello there. We were just about to try some of Master Metzli's delightful wines. Oh, would you care to join us? Mm, they do look ever so tasty. Ah, Mrs. Highbury. I prefer to conduct tastings individually, so I may assess your palate. Call me Cora, Master Metzli. And I'm afraid I must insist on their joining us. Wine's no good without company, after all. Cora Highbury, your life is in danger of serial killers after you. I'm afraid I must decline, but I hope to enjoy your wine. I would love a glass, Master Metzley. Cora Highbury, your life is in danger of serial killers after you. No. I must say, if this is a practical joke, it's not very amusing. Why, a serial killer? Oh, that's terrible. Master Metzley, are you quite all right? It was perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. You have sullied it with knowledge, made it an unclean sacrifice. I will remember your face, and I will peel it from your skull should you interfere again. Uh, kind of spell. Okay, who's going first? He's invisible. Okay, uh, cat bug gets to go. We're gonna do fairy fire, but we really don't want to hit ourselves with it. There. Pull it back. Pull it back. Pull it back. Why does she have to... Wait, because it's doing it upstairs, I think? Yeah, I was, I was about to do it upstairs. Okay, fairy fire... Here. Oh, interesting. I don't see that lad. Anywhere. Hmm. Enter. Critical hit on Karlak. Paralyze. Okay, I mean, there's not a lot we can do because we can't see anything. Um. Hmm. That this is a weird one. All right. Uh, I think what we'll do is we will throw because we don't. These are probably all civilians. Uh, throw superior healing here, I think. Yeah. There we go. And then, in turn. Paralyzed. So, which one? Counter spell. He's here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Okay. Right. So he is here. He's got 88 health. Ooh, what do we do? 848 damage. We could do 6015. Ray of Sickness, Chromatic Orb, oh, I know why we're not freaking, we're taking sh just a shed load of damage. We haven't actually put on our armor, which should have been a clue since, you know, uh, no wonder we were taking, yeah, all right, take a potion of healing. Can't really do much now. Damage. 
Okay. Uh, don't really know what to do here, apart from superior healing. Can she? She can't jump, and she can't. All right, just hit that lad there then. One, 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 and again. Because I don't know if these are civilians or not. I think this guy's the bad guy though. In turn. Oh, that's better in terms of damage. Okay, paralysis is worn off. Uh, moonbeam? Can we just moonbeam this lad and not ourselves? Try it. Saved versus moonbeam. Only five damage. Okay. Uh, mass healing word? At. Six to twelve. That would be... Seven to sixteen. Five to eight. Six to twelve or something. Oh, let's cast it at max level. Let's do that. Everyone gets a little heal in turn. He's now invisible again. But probably in the moonbeam? Hmm. Can't do flame strike. Can do fireball. Let's try this. Zero damage here. Main hand attack and shadow heart. Main hand attack and Karlak. This guy runs away. Right, Karlak. You have sea invisibility. She can't see him. I don't know which one's the bad dude here. Oh, the only one that we've actually done damage to. 4952. Okay. Uh, she gets an att uh, attack of opportunity. Ow, ow. Okay, cool. So it's this guy, I'm assuming. Yeah, he's the only one in hit with fairy fire. Uh, I'm hoping that's the right one. Let us... Ooh. Let's just kill this guy. And again. Right, so... We just killed a shapeshifter, but these guys... Are these guys also shapeshifters then? And not civilians? Interesting. I am fury. I am death. All right, Lazel. If you're fury and death, why don't we just kill these people? Since we now know that that didn't end the combat. Uh, and a pommel strike, please. Nice. Uh, Morphic Ambush and Lazel, Laz they will say it's indomitable. Wow. Okay. Uh, that thing might die. That thing needs to die. And that thing. So these are all shapeshifters. They, these aren't just people that are turned. Well, we had to, we had to, tr we had to try. We had to not straight murder everything. Divine Intervention, we need to save that. Uh, what can we do here? Flame strike? Flame strike that person. I don't want to put something up because there are civilians just right here and they've got like eight hit points. Uh, six to 14 main hand attack with the spear. Critical miss. Okay. Bing. Shield up. Your turn, Catbug. Okay, um... 90% at disadvantage. Ooh. 
What has she actually got as a weapon? A uh, crossbow. And I think like a stick. Not entirely sure. Bone chill. We could do that. It's an action. Uh, prevent the target from healing until the next roll. 3 to 14 damage. Do that. I think it's a touch attack. Target's too close. Oh, it's a ranged attack. Uh. Hmm. Firebolt. Ah, firebolt. Goodbye. And then. I wonder if we have a smaller potion. We do. In turn. Oh, yeah, because they can't critter. That's two hits on Karlak. Right. Cool. Karlak's, uh, Karlak's just going to kill this fool. I think. Do it. I said do it! Reckless. He's dead. Uh, in turn of Karlak. Lazelle, this person really needs to die now we've worked out what the heck's going on. I said, kill him! Hmm. Action surge. And then kill him. We need to stop him before he strikes again. Didn't we kill him? Like, isn't he actually the dead one? There's a load of dead people here. Oh, tombstone shop key. Uh, read. Why, yes, Edvard. Interim report. Can I call you Edvard? The Scar well, Dwarf Edvard, is a promising Lord candidate for the Holy Assassin. Though he is personally crude, his methods are homicide and are artistic, even innovative. He has set up a deadly wine festival to eliminate his next target, and I, for one, will be observing it closely, shall I call? Uh, okay. Interesting. Oh, I think we got people on the inside with fairy fire. So that's... Oh, there was one there as well. With twin daggers. Right, no wonder these guys were hitting us so hard. We didn't have our armor on. Because we're essentially cloth. I mean, this is ex exactly what we're wearing. She can now see invisibility. Oh, uh, that's the thing that... Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So if uh, you let Volo carve your eye out, I think you get invis see, like, see invisibility from that. Can we just steal some wine while we're here? No. An empty bottle. What's in the mailbox? Gift note, preparations, and sweat stain note. Oh, gift note? Read it. Dearest Cora Roger, what a pity that I cannot make it to, uh, to your celebration. I've sent my best aged wine in my stead, that you may celebrate without me, stored in the basement, and it'll age like, well, you know, with greatest regrets, hoops. Oh, okay. Highbury, Roger Highbury. Core Highbury. Can't believe. Why would anyone want to kill me? Thank you for saving us. Nine hundred and ninety-seven buckos as a reward. I still can't believe what That's a lot of buckos. Molly the orphan. Thank you for helping Cora. I couldn't do any of this without her. Sorry, what? Thank you, thank you. And is Cora run an orphanage? We're just like in this person's house. Like, we've just got a thousand buckos. Hey, buddy. I still can't believe. Okay, uh, turns out that talking to either of them gets the same thing. Alright. Okay. So the, the whole wine thing was a bit of a. Should so we just take? Should we just take a little bit of wine? Should we just just take a little bit of wine? Just uh, I don't not maybe not from that table. Where did we pick up the wine? We can send that to camp. Neat. All right. Cool. 
There's one of these. Wait. Alright, guess Cazador's place. Chase down a serial killer. Murder target. Murder target. Murder target. Murder target. And the other one is chase down the serial killer. Murder target. Cora, uh, mm, wait, what? Cora's still here. Okay. So I guess... Which way do we go? This place is huge! You! The god's damn disease of the gate. Lady Mazora told me everything. How you and the Blade of Frontiers slaughtered his own father. How he craves ultimate power. How he means to make the city bow to him and him alone. First I finish you, then I finish the Duke's traitorous son! When you say you're gonna finish us... Oh, you're gonna use a spiky thing, alright. Um, I'm gonna probe your mind. Can we... Uh, guidance on this? A 19. Well, it's actually a 23. The Blade of Frontier is nothing but a cold-blooded killer. I will make him and his allies pay for his father's death. The Blade has saved countless lives. He is still the man you thought he was. Stand down. I believe you. The battle lord helped me. What darkness has fallen upon us? Listen, there's something Will should know. On his way from Elturel, Ravenguard sent a messenger with word of the cult. He knew about the Absolute. I thought little of it at first, but he realized the danger before anyone else did. He understood that if the cult was successful in raising an army, Baldur's Gate would be doomed. And he knew that to protect the city, one trained in the ways of the great champions would have to rouse the worm living beneath. If I'm not mistaken, that would be Will. Do you mean there's a dragon living under the city? A bronze dragon, to be precise, sleeping beneath us. The worm goes by many names. Ansor, the Waiting Storm, the Heart of the Gate. He made Baldurin a binding promise to protect the city when its need was greatest. The city survived countless threats, but Ravenguard knew its walls would fall to the cult. With him gone, and the city near ruin, your call is to unleash the heart of the gate. Take this, the legend of Ansor. The bards call it a tall tale, but every last word is true. Follow its path to the worm, or do not, and let the coast be drowned in blood. Your faith in us is well founded. We will seek the worm and ask it for its help. I was right to lay down my arms. Fohammer be praised. I should go, gather allies. We'll join you in your hour of need. Free the worm, and may his thunderous wind drive the absolute from the coast. His thunderous what now? His thunderous wind. Let's do a short rest. Get some health back. Put the wind back in my sails. Because people stop talking about wind. It's like everyone's just, just doing a little fart. It's not great. Uh, us. There is so much more to it. I just thought we get here and like, oh, it's just the end of the. No, that's more city. Can we talk to these people? Uh, we can talk to at least one of them. I'll never understand people who don't want to be famous. The more the people like you, the more you can get away with. Uh, yeah, I guess it's kind of true. Um, right, where the heck in Hecarinas are we? We are here. Find the Night Song, Wizard of Waterdeep, Murder Target Frame, Suspicious Toys, Murder Target Cora. So Cora's here. And I was thinking we should probably go this way. Which means back up on the road and just keep going that way. Okay, fine. 
Fine, we'll do it. Are there any shops in this? There's gotta be shops in Baldur's Gate, right? And when we came in, the girls were talking about, oh, we should do a little bit of shopping. A cat! Ah, uh, no. Hmm, camera, please. Go talk to the cat. Intelligence, try to decipher the cat's strange speech. Uh, all right. Oh, we got an 11 on a 10. It speaks a feline dialect called Mriar. It wants to know if you're its mother. It's me, my son. What? I'm doing it. What? Okay. The cat thinks we're its mother? I'm okay with that. I guess this person is animated mage. Oh, wait, is this the shop of Sorcerer Sundra's? Sorry, what? Filmaturgy. So right, okay, right, right, right. Where the heck in heck arenas are we? Find the night source. So that source was Sundra's. I don't think we want to go there just yet. Newshawk Jason? Oh, there's a shop. Uh, so I guess we just carry on. What is over this way? Is this the lower city? Yeah. All right. There's more stuff here. If it's the firecracker. Well, what do you guys sell? Clothes? You in need of protection, friend. <laughs> what am I saying? Everyone's in need of protection. Don't be shy. This armor can't keep you alive if it's sitting here with me. Uh, let's take a look at what you have. Stormshore Armory. Let's see where you got. Armor of Agility. Uh, exotic Material. Add your full dex modifier to the armor class. Additionally, if this armor does not impose disadvantage on stealth... Oh, this advantage... Okay, right, so you can do stealth. But we're not proficient with this. Interesting. I don't think anyone else has, like, super high dex. Uh, breastplate plus two... Chainmail plus two. Interesting. Hide armor. Meh. Dark amethyst dye. Oh, gorgeous maroon dye. Nice. All right. Studded leather armor. Plate armor plus one. Okay, there's some there's some stuff there. You can probably get rid of the gold ingot. Dunk. There we go. All right, this guy's got two two G too large in his pants. A defender flail. I don't think we need that. Let's get rid of that. Uh, yeah, we've got a bunch of stuff in here. Frost Prince makes an ice knife, psychic spark, magic missile, elemental augmentation. There's a lot of things that, I mean, like, we don't have a monk in the party, so the ironwood club. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, there's golden gems if it were alive. Let's get rid of the gem. Resonant stone. Oh, that's... Yeah, we can't... We shouldn't sell that. One gold. Let's sell the clothes. Let's get rid of those. In the bowl. Thanks, Scratch, but, you know. Don't quite need it. Uh, let me keep the teal outfit. Why has she got a cloak? Oh. Oh. Cloak of displacement. Why... Why do these people have cloaks in their packs, but we're not using them? Weird. Okay. City's got a dangerous air to it these days. Only makes sense to take self-preservation measures. Okie dokie. Does everyone have a cloak? Uh, you don't. You don't. You do. You do. 
So why is... Wait, we... Mm. Who had who had the cloaks? Who's got the cloaks? Cloak of displacement. Displacement. At the beginning of the wearer's turn, the cloak activates, granting enemies disadvantage on attack rolls that target the wearer. This effect... That... Oh, wait. That would be quite handy. Boop. She now has a cloak. It's an ugly cloak, but she has... Oh, we can dye the cloak! Uh, who else had a cloak? Somebody else had one as well. Who who was it? You do. Uh, arcane Vivaciousness. You gain eight temporary hit points after casting a spell whilst in melee. Uh, that's why we're not really using it, because nobody casts spells in melee. I mean, that would be Shadowheart, but... Shadowheart's AC is now 20. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, Shadowheart's pretty tanky. Which kind of makes a little sense. That is an ugly. Okay, do we have a die? Uh, white and scarlet die. Yes, we do. So can I split one of those off? Send that to Shadowheart. Make Shadowheart hard a lid up. White and scarlet die. Combine with the cloak. Combine. Boom. And now that is white and scarlet. Neat. Cool. So that blue cloak is now red and white, and which matches our armor. Excellent. Well, well, well. Cool. Everyone's. There's a cat. Wait, no, you can't speak to it. Cat bark. Oh, it's not a real cat. It's thaumaturgy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why can't we go... Wait, we... Oh, there's a sigil. Uh, who's the... Who's following us? Wait, what's this? Blade of the Frontiers. Read the Legend of Answer. Oh, do we have to do that? Legend of Answer. Okay, read it. The Legend of Answer. Baldur's Gate, the great Baldurin's uh, birth? O Baldurin founded due veneration. His guardian dragon answer, tremendous and worth. A saviour below our internal elation. To worm way near prison's deepest level. To be found by not a soul nor devil. No, entrance in Worms Rock Prison, you are. With a... Uh, lightning shock, a true hero spark flickers, the torches are light, and the worm's eye shall awake a glitter. Note, something about sparks and torches, use lightning skills, you are, is trials, no common adventurer may exceed. When each day sends forth new ones to their fates, but one great hero by the Founder's will decreed shall only once grant our age of the heart of the gate. Note, only a great hero can pass the trials and awaken answer, you are. Oh, all right, well, we did it. We've read the journal. But what's this of a true hero spark? True hero spark, we probably need to use like a taser on it. Bzz. Uh, true hero spark. Well, where is the prison then, I guess? Murder target, murder target. Kazdor's place. Oh, I suppose we can go and at least get it on the map. Wait, was that a cat? No, it's a refugi. Right, uh, it's not a cat, I'm not that interested. What? A refugi? Can we... Wait, wait, now I'm kind of lost. Wait, what? Map. How do we lower city central wall? So we go through here? Oh, we have to go back to where we were. Is that here? Is there a way through here? Oh, yes, there is. Right, okay, yeah, we can zoop through here. Okay, uh, where is everyone? Oh, right here. Okay, 
Uh, now what? Find Kazor's place. The mur murders. There's been a murder. Okay. Bloomridge Park. It might just be worth running around and just unlocking some of the map. Oh, can we talk to the crows? Are you sure it's not the flowers you're smelling? You may be allergic. I smell an ambush. Uh, better safe than sorry, I suppose. What do you mean, I smell an ambush? Wait, she says she smells an ambush, but I don't see anyone, like, sitting out there to attack us? Huh. I, yeah, I'm not seeing anything. There are a lot of crows, though. Huh, don't mount. And it's a scroll of chain lightning and 109 gold. We're going to need lightning, aren't we? Lightning spells. The joyous. Joy in stone. Compliments of stony and bony. Uh, stony and bony. They did our... Uh, they did our statue. It's back in camp bunch of people here which we can talk to okay all right all right all right 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 so they're, they're talking about stuff there well what oh Reaper of Baal what? Hey, okay, so here is a... Uh... We steel by the light of day in his name. You are our lamb, ready for slaughter. Lady Orin asked us to test you, but I think you'll fail. What say you, little lamb? I think... Don't we have, like, sea invisibility? Oh, they just <laughs> killed a random stranger. Carlac can see invisibility, my, da my dudes. Incoming. I mean, he's literally right here. Uh, what is this? Hour of Darkness. Arcane ammunition. It's bonus action. Let's do it. And then... Plink this guy. Critically plink them. That was significant. Are these all bad people? The Dreadlord calls. Aura of murder. <laughs> okay. Well, I kind of want to kill all the people who. Nightblade. 28, 28, 7 45. Right. 6 to 15. 1, 2, 3. Unstoppable. Well, I used one of their unstoppable things. Um, actually, have we got a potion of speed? I don't think we do. Angelic. Oh, flying. No, no. Necrotic Resistance, Colossus, Sea Invisibility. Oh, we got two of them ourselves. And turn. Uh, we could Hellish Rebuke that person. And absolutely murder them. 
Right, Shadowheart. Oh, her cloak! Neat! Okay, uh, well, we're gonna absolutely turn on not that. This one, no, I keep hitting Mirror Image. Which is the one that I want? Ah, this one here, Spirit Guardians. 3 to, 20, 3 to 24 damage, or 5 to 40 damage. And we're probably gonna need to rest at some point. Boom. Well, their Unstoppable's been removed. 76 hit points. Gee, that's a lot. Uh, can we also cast... 5 to 8. Let's do just from the Talisman. Bing. There we go. You're going to panic. Oh, gee. That person just got murdered in a bonus action. Who's that? Syrian. Bistbella. Yeah, I'm guessing these people are actually the people we're supposed to murder. Alright, uh, we will do that. Which kills them. And then main hand attack on that person? It's a critical mess, but can we stun them? They are dazed, and now Unstoppable is removed. Uh, we do have a Fist versus Nightblade. All right, cool. Uh, action Surge. Yeah, why not? Let's give him another chop. Oh, their Concentration Thrower is... Okay, stunned is now off of Catbug. This person's lost half their hit points. And seeing one of their friends get murdered. Sometimes the only way out is through. Ooh, what do you wanna what do you wanna do? You wanna kill this person? I kinda wanna kill this person, but I also kinda wanna kill this person. Can't reach destination. Oh, that person absolutely got murdered. I think that was what we call massive overkill, but sure. To me. I want you to walk to over move. here. And then just stab this person in the spine. I don't know why I ever ask you to do anything. Okay. Uh, Karlak, you look pretty biffed. But quick must be quick. This mind is small, fragile. Listen now. Uh, use your parasite to explore her thoughts. DC of two. All right. Entering her mind is like stepping aboard a sinking ship. The architecture of her consciousness buckles and collapses. Thoughts yield to a flood of overwhelming power. The Elder Brain. Do not waste time! This mind cannot bear us. It turns to liquid. Listen, just listen. We learn. We grow. Loosen our clumsy bindings. Aid us. Necromancer dead. Changeling and tyrant remain at odds. Kill them. You have a place in my grand design. The brain seized control with the smallest of efforts. Its power must not be underestimated. What? What happened? Why do I taste copper? Uh, she dead. Oh no! 
catch a break. Can we talk to the dead? Let's be with Zed. Bing. The corpse remains silent. Oh. Well, we can recast it, I think. Yeah, we can. The corpse remains silent. Damn it. Can we get anybody to talk to? Oh, hang on a sec. I'm ready. Let's uh, turn that off just in case we accidentally. I have a lot on my mind. And well, in it. Well, in it. Can we talk to anyone? The corpse does not respond. I mean, we kind of did murder these people. Uh, speed with dead. On that person. Good idea. The corpse does not respond. I'm gonna say they're all dead. Hey, dude. Who are that lot? Need to report this. Need to get reinforcements. All right, you do that, or you just stand there vibrating. Daggers, daggers everywhere, except for murderous cut. All right, I mean, we'll send that to Kalak. and just carry that for us. Uh, what about... Hmm, blood? Oh, how much is that actually worth? 65 versus 16. Oh, I, I, guess, I, I guess, I guess. Kalak can That's carry that. Bit. What about this lab? Got a letter? Strike the ball's name. Read. O oh, devotees of untimely death, it's time to skin, to flay, to make our presence felt. The terror must not wane. Those arrogant adventurers, make a bloody example of them, tear them to goblets. To gobbets. I will ensure that the hapless fists stay out of it. And if any bystanders suffer unintended maiming or death, well, that's simply more offerings the almighty Baal. Oh. Okay. I mean, sure can't rob that body. Uh, there was somebody up here that did actually die that wasn't... Oh, yeah. Can we talk to this person? Bing. The corpse has nothing to say. Well, it looks like uh, we found the trap. We found the thing that everyone was just like, oh, wow. Well, maybe it's in your mind. It's not in our mind. There's definitely somebody trying to kill us. Anyway, what I'm going to do is leave it here for the time being. Uh, we've saved some people. And we have not found shops that sell clothes, but we have done quite a bit. Uh... Yeah, we need to find a dragon. No, cancel. I don't want a custom marker. We need to find a dragon. We need to look at suspicious toys. I'm not entirely sure what to do first, to be honest. Um, I think investigate the murderers, chase down the serial killer is probably the best thing that we can do for the time being. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. If you like this, definitely leave a little like. Leave a subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. If you want notifications, dingle a bingle. If you don't want notifications, don't click the bell and I'll tell you what. I'll catch you next time.